But yeah, hey um, hey y'all, welcome back to another. If you um watch this on the um the tube, obviously by now you know I make these into uh uh make my reactions to the um, horror versus games, and this time obviously. Honkai Soro special program is released, so obviously y'all gonna be seeing me reacting to it, seeing what's gonna be happening in version 2.3, because Pelicone is, is saying farewell down there, a lot happened, we still confused on the story a little bit, still scratching my head, like, I guess I understand, but at the same time, it was a lot happening, and it was really good, and that last bit of the, um, Pelicone arc was so long, y'all, if y'all seen my, um, nine hour, um, play through the um last bit of the story <laughs> i'll put it up there for you because it was i didn't know it was gonna be that long i was like damn eight hours eight to nine hours long i was like the content yes live for it but i was like i wasn't prepared because i would have broke it up i would have <laughs> me sat through the whole thing i would have broke it up if i knew it was that long but i i didn't <laughs> so i was getting a little delirious at the <laughs> towards the end of the <laughs> the story <laughs> so yeah it was something. <laughs> but yeah, enough of me rambling. Let's um get into the um version special program. <laughs> and of course we're gonna skip this because we're not sitting through this child. I mean, I, again, imagine, I always I keep saying this, imagine if we just, uh, I just sat y'all through this. Ta <laughs> Get y'all snacks, you know. Good evening, city of dreams. All eyes are on the Pentagon Repishage, which is now in its fourth round. Ways of remaining competitors are still vying for their shot of victory. Leaving aside Duke Inferno's fiery demise, the family would like to reassure everyone that no contestants have come to harm. <laughs> That's still the case, right? <laughs> no <problem. clears throat> With the crisis dispelled, only flowers, glory, and rapturous applause await. <laughs> Not to mention a pool party. <laughs> Miss Acheron! Acheron Queen! D didn't we all agree to the swimsuit dress code? That's not a swimsuit. Hmm. Is that what we agreed? Ah, but you... <laughs> me. Albert, can I borrow you? Oh, J Jade? <laughs> Madam Jade! Yeah, cool. So, too. what brings you here? <laughs> The corporation is planning to increase the special program budget. Here, it's all in the agreement. It's not her writing with her <laughs> lipstick. Thank you, Miss Jade. Batty, Thank you, already. RPC. Where do I sign? Pleasure doing business. Miss <laughs> uh, Firefly. Hey, hey. Can you Firefly. do the transformation thingy? You know what I'm talking about. Ah, now's the perfect time. <laughs> okay, it's just there's a lot of people around. No problem. If anything goes wrong, just blame your good buddy Albert. Albert. Mm, in that case, check out the newest upgrade. I shall set the seas ablaze. <laughs> what a cool transition into the trailer of this patch. <sighs> this um yeah version yeah patch. But I thought we we're gonna be we we're gonna be seeing Chibi Sam, but no, we ain't gonna see Chibi Sam. To me, hiding is much easier than being honest. Yet I still want to try expressing my emotions as any ordinary person would. Forgotten someone, my gray-haired friend. Oh. I put a bomb on this ship. You have ten. What's her name? Not her name. Slipping me. Okay, dramatic. What glitch? Wait, wait. Talking about dramatic. Whoa. <clears throat> What's her name? I forgot. Sparkle. I was like, her name was slipping me. I'm like, <laughs> since she didn't come home to me, name was forgotten. <laughs> but I'm like, no, Sparkle. Ten minutes to find it. Better. Oh, 
you can see him. Always remember, don't leave with any regrets. So now, do you understand what you must give up, Miss Sam? Oh, Jade, yes. Even from not her with the whip, not her with the whip. She got a whip, yo. Jade got a whip. I can see all, all the, um, <clears throat> yeah, the, um, the boobs of boobim, all the, um, people who loving some, loving some Jay right now are eating it up. Like, she got a whip. Her voice sound like that. Like, a whole dummy mommy, a whole dummy mommy right now. From here point, as distant as it may be, Ooh. I'm more than capable of keeping you on a tight leash. Oh, <gasps> Nami Paz got a good <laughs> shot of her right now. <laughs> and I heard some about putting on a leash, as I just said, Dami Mommy, a whole Dami Mommy right now. I cannot. All <laughs> of us know what we want. They know they really know their audience. I don't know what to tell you. I really don't know what to tell y'all. They know their audience. They know we love to get wrapped up and whipped and put on leashes. Um very much. <laughs> There's no backing up now. Oh, there's a lipstick. For for you. My script isn't over yet. It's been a while, little Yelena. I propose a toast. Since you care so much, speed up the countdown to the future of Pinnacle and the universe. Oh, what's happening? Can I interpret this? Oh, Scrotum! I, I miss Scrotum. I can't wait to see when Scrotum gonna be playable. As the next phase of the simulated universe. Correction. It's a new subject matter that Dr. Ratio and I have personally agreed. Look how cute he is. I have a little thing for Scrotum, y'all. He's so cute. Read on. But yeah, ooh, that trailer looks really interesting. I wonder what's going on. Hmm. Because we got, obviously, Firefly, Jade, and who else? Sparkle. She's going to be making a um huge appearance seemed like she's doing something and then we seen um robin as well so i'm like interesting i wonder what could be happening very juicy oh shoot not me clicking that <laughs> and there's the code obviously if you're watching this in video format you it's gone it's already it's already expired i mean not gone but yeah expired yeah but what you talking about glitch no that's not her name i'm talking about the robot the guy the um robot man we just seen um jay was talking to that's what i'm talking about scrotum i call that's not his name i forgot i call him scrotum because his name sounds like a Schrodem. We met, we met him a while back ago. On um, the ship. In 1.1 or 1.0? Or 1. I think 1.1. One of them. One of those. I think 1.1 or 1.1. Or 1.0. Or No, his name's not named after a test out of a testicle. I just call him Schrodem because it's, it's name is something else, but it's close. It sounds similar almost to Schrodem. So I'm like, I nicknamed him that. I'm Albert, your friendliest feathered announcer. <laughs> Welcome to the version 2.3 Farewell Pentacony special program. Woo! For today's program, we have with us a Galaxy Ranger as well as. A Stellaron Hunter. Not to mention a director of the IPC Strategic Investment Department, Madam Jade. 
<laughs> That's me. Thank you for the invite. It uh, their chibis are so cute. Like, come on. I cannot. It's a pleasure to be here for the version 2.3 special program. You can call me Acheron. So, what ex We know your real name. <laughs> but Acheron, obviously. Exactly is this newest upgrade you were all talking about. <laughs> I just showed everyone. Hi, Trailblazers. Firefly here. Hey, Firefly. Welcome. Welcome. Now, before we go any further, we agreed to a pool party. How come I'm the only one that showed up in a swimsuit? Oh, Albert. <laughs> <laughs> we thought you were joking. After all, this show never previously had pool party levels of funding. Don't worry, Albert. Madam Jade's investment is on the way. Next time for sure. <sighs> anyway, take a look around, you guys. We're coming to you live from the skies above Pinnacone in none other than the Radiant Felt Spa airship. Quite a luxurious setting. What's the occasion? Pelican had a spa oh, airship? No occasion needed, Miss Acheron. <laughs> I just wanted to give everyone a taste of Pentacone's history. <laughs> Over to you, Madam Jade. <laughs> One amber era ago, Odi Alfalfa, the Pentacone Alfalfa family head, invested a large sum in constructing the Radiant Feldspar airship. Aside from the opulent parlor, ballroom, and recreation Ooh. facilities, one could simply relax at the poolside with a few glasses of Soul Glad. It's only so glad. This grand airship has sailed above Pentacone's Sea of Dreams for an entire Amber Era, suspending services only recently in the wake of the crisis. The Trailblazers have yet to claim responsibility for this matter. In case you weren't aware, the Radiant Failed Spa never opens to the public. Only the family's most esteemed guests are invited to take in such breathtaking aerial views of Pinnacle. Oh, so that's why you don't know about you mean it. You to say that. <laughs> After three whole versions, the Trailblazers might finally be able to take a vacation? By the looks of that trailer, no. We we don't know what that is. It was it's always something going. It's always something going on. We got to handle and do. Please. We thought Pelicone in itself was one. Turns out, nothing but trauma <laughs> and more just tragedy. So I'm like, no, no. Well, suppose a tragedy. We thought people died, but no, they didn't die. But it, it, a lot. <laughs> but no. But obviously, we get another Trailblazer mission. Farewell, Pelicone. We got the same thing from um when we was on the Sting Show, like a little fel farewell, farewell thing. But it was like really short, if I remember correctly. But this one seems like it's gonna be a little lengthy one. We'll see. But yeah, new Trailblazer mission. <laughs> Let's not get ahead of ourselves. The Trailblazers' recent battle against the Order caused great disturbance in Panacone. Correct. The Charmony Festival was forced to terminate. One can well imagine the damage to public opinion. Mm -hmm. The family's reputation must be built anew. <laughs> that was a and the public must be reassured. There are many delicate issues which urgently need addressing. Aside from the Oak family, the major lineages are preparing their responses to help deal with the aftermath. In the version 2.3 Trailblaze mission, the Express crew will be invited aboard the Radiant Feld Spar as witnesses to important family discussions. But if the factors that disrupted the dreamscape have been resolved, what other assistance is required? The <clears throat> The Order stepped all over the Harmony Surf. You can't deal with stuff like that out in the open. The family came up with an idea. Fix the Radiant Feldspar as the Charmony Festival's location while simultaneously announcing the reopening of the airship. A pity none of this razzle-dazzle can fool the IPC. During the Grand Theater final battle, Aventurine may have been digging up dirt on the family in Dreamflux Reef. I'll need to take care of a few things during my visit to Pentacone. Huh? Is the IPC about to make a claim on Pentacone? Uh oh. Never say never. For the gosh dang IPC. Can never oh, escape them. The Amber Lord, baby. 
<laughs> Reading between the lines, it seems like these discussions concern the future of Panacone. They do. But a quick refresher. Anyone remember a certain mass fool issuing mutually assured destruction buttons to the residents of Panacone? Sparkle. I remember. Yes. Sparkle sent out gifts in each one of the past three versions. Surely she... <laughs> Would pushing the button really cause Penacone to explode? I have my doubts. Only one way to find out. Whoa! Everyone take a deep breath, okay? <laughs> <laughs> you guys have been spending too much time with a certain blonde haired director. I'm not putting the bill if you blow up the radiant bell spa! <gasps> Let's leave these mysteries for the trailers to explore again. Huh? It's time we got back to the Charming Festival, baby! Who might the honor guest be, I hear you ask? <sighs> Just when they're about to get interesting, Albert hands things over to the trailblazers again. <laughs> family business is family business, and we've got a show to do. Even if the next young lady needs no introduction. Uh, sparkle. Correction, Firefly, ciao. Her phone cute, her phone cute. And her alter ego, Sam. Ooh, I like the music. I love the colors with um Sam that they went with. Obviously the ad, a bit of obviously spark. No, why keep saying sparkle? I mean, Firefly. I don't know why I keep calling the Firefly sparkle, y'all. If I say sparkle, I meant, I mean Firefly, child. Oh goodness. But I like how they added her colors within Sam. Cause obviously, cause she is Sam. Spoiler alert. Ooh, if you didn't know, ooh. <laughs> if it wasn't obvious, Sam, that big, um, suited up, Fella, it's Firefly. But yeah, I like how they added her um color within um within um Sam. Really neato, love it. Really cool, right there. And she got like a little ponytail as well, which is so cool. Firefly is a member of the Stellaron Hunters and hails from Glamoth, a world that was destroyed long ago. Glamoth. The same Glamoth from the Firmament Frontline Glamoth Relic set? I remember the planar ornament description had a story about Glamoth's Iron Cavalry Regiment. Oh, and also, I will be trying to bag Firefly as well, because she, as it, by the arm looks up, she really looks cool. And I, and I, I'm trying to see how I feel about Sparkle, I keep saying Sparkle, Joe, how I feel about Firefly. She's, she's uncool. She's cool, though. Throughout the whole Pelicone arc and all that, she she was really, really lovely to be around. And even after finding out that she was Sam, still lovely to be around, doll. So yeah, yeah. I'm gonna be trying to back her. Yes, Glamoth was once a rich and powerful empire with a vast territory. After the swarm invaded, everything was destroyed. Resisting the swarm called for the creation of Glamoth's Iron Cavalry. They were genetically modified soldiers, weapons that existed only to wage war. They piloted mechs to contain the swarm. I met many of those heroes and oh, bade farewell to many. And she do, mm. but she do. What stood out to me is that Sam's full name is actually Firefly Type 4 Strategic Assault Mech, meaning that out there, between the distant celestial bodies, there could be other Sams. <laughs> oh, other ones? Good. Oh, that'd be so neat. We run into more um fireflies <laughs> in the future. I wonder, is that like a foreshadowing? It probably is, knowing them. <laughs> but we'll see. Thank you, Madam Jade. Perhaps the answer to that question lies in fireflies, myriad, celestia, and animated short. <laughs> Count me in. Oh, you got animated short. I was wondering, 
Is it really you talking when Sam says something, Firefly? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I actually spend a lot of time practicing my Sam lines. <laughs> Come on, voice modifier. I I, or I thought it was she was using a voice modifier, but no. It seemed like she actually can get hit in those deep ranges. Let me guess. Silverwolf came up with the lines, Blade came up with the movements, and Kaka put them together. Huh? That sounds a little too professional for us. <laughs> yeah, well, speaking of professional, I think it's time we took a look at what this young lady can do in her combat mech. I'm a fire type character following the path of destruction. When using my technique during exploration, I summon my Sam armor. Sam can leap into the air. After landing, Sam attacks all enemies within a set range. Oh, that is so cool. That come in handy. Quite the heroic entry. After using technique to enter battle, for every wave of enemies, weaknesses can be inflicted on units without fire weakness, which lasts for a set number of turns. In battle, Sam has two forms. In the initial form, using skill consumes HP while simultaneously regenerating ultimate energy. Mm, okay, so she's she gonna be consuming her own HP. We love that. <laughs> Give me very much believe. The lower the HP, the less damage sustained. Hmm. Are all Stellaron hunters this careless with their lives? Literally. But I don't know. No, Kafka doesn't. No, Kafka in um. Silverwolf doesn't consume HP, but Blade and now Firefly, they do. <laughs> when using Ultimate, Sam enters the second battle form, the dazzling complete combustion state. In the That's a mouthful. Complete combustion. <laughs> addition to more powerful basic attacks and Oh, it's it look it looks so pretty. I love that. They incorporate her colors into saying like that. This is more like an elegant look to Sam when she's in this form. So much. And she got two swords right there. Skills, speed. Oh, she looks so cool. It's also increased. When using enhanced abilities, Sam's weakness break efficiency and weakness break damage sustained by enemies both increase. Sam restores HP with each attack. So... The complete combustion state allows us to get a glimpse of Firefly's view from the mech? That's so cool. That's so sick. Yes. That's a determined gaze if I ever saw one. Enough to set the seas ablaze, I'll wager. That's so awesome! <laughs> I wanna set the seas ablaze! <laughs> Thanks! The complete combustion state's enhanced skill not only allows for increased toughness reduction, it can also inflict fire weakness on target enemies. The flames that Sam emits when breaking the enemy's weakness are quite spectacular. And is that a countdown icon on the action bar? Oh yeah, that's. I think that's how long that she's gonna stay in the um the form. The con the con the con the con complete combustion form. Yeah, just like with um Robin when she does her ult. And she just be singing, and it just obviously before it gets to that, um, her thing comes up, and then it ends. Same thing with um, Firefly. That's right. When the countdown is up, Sam will exit the complete combustion state. Yeah. It seems like the effects of Firefly's abilities all relate to weakness break. I suppose it would make most sense for Firefly to team up with allies who have weakness break efficiency buffs. Or even super break? Mm-hmm. That's right. For example, the Harmony Trailblazer. <laughs> oh. Talk about me. <laughs> what a wonderful coincidence. Yeah, of course of course of course we're good um good we're compatible with Firefly, of course. Harmony Trailblazer. In version 2.2, the Trailblazer inherited the Watchmaker's legacy and embarked on the brand new Path of Harmony. <laughs> the spirit of Trailblazing, traversing unprecedented distances to go where none have gone before. But that's what it's all about. Bringing the will of the Trailblaze to more and more people. And on that note, I've got some good news for y'all. Oh, yeah, before we get into that, 
on Firefly still a little bit. So it looks like you want to be in her ult, like get her ult up as fast as you can a little bit. So she can obviously, because I think more majority of her um her damage will be coming from her using her ult and being in her um complete combustion forms. I'm like, okay. I think might be wrong on that, but it seemed like it. And mostly it's so pretty, so I'm like, you want to be um have her ult up constantly. <laughs> But yeah. After activating the Harmony Trailblazer following the version 2.3 update, Trailblazers can obtain a shadow of Harmony through the when Charmony rings out event screen, thereby upgrading the Trailblazer's Eidolon level. And if I haven't had time to experience Penacony yet? Don't worry. After locking the Path of Preservation, Trailblazers yet to complete the version 2.2 Trailblaze mission can activate the Path of Harmony early through the when Charmity rings out event screen. Oh, that's so neat. So people um who don't have time to sit through the story, because I know it's like as a, a, a as I just said in the beginning of the um video, <laughs> eight to nine hours <laughs> of story at well the um ending part, Joe. Ooh. <laughs> so it would be like if you waited a hot minute to get Harmony Trailblazer. So I like how they um a fast way to get um Harmony Trailblazer. I like that. So for the people who want to get it, get them now and don't want to sit through the whole story of Pelicone, can get it like right away, which is neat. So yeah, lovely feature they added. <laughs> I hope the will of the Trailblaze reaches everyone on this journey. Well said. Now, without further ado, it's time we got to know a certain highly respected IPC director a little better. Enter Madam J. Not had us all the <laughs> delusion after the stream. Sir, you asleep. <laughs> oh, now looking at Jade. Baddie. <laughs> Baddie, Baddie. She's using her lipstick to sign her documents, important papers, like it's just her lipstick, like. Ugh. Here goes the whip, Joe. Oh, not her. As I just said, whoever knows their audience, they know. <laughs> they know we love being stepped on by characters. <laughs> Because obviously, if you um Genshin, my Genshin people, um, uh, what's his name? Oh, the Wanderer does the exact same move when he ults. <laughs> they put it in. They put it in Honkai with um uh, for Jade now in this angle of us getting this, looking like she's stepping on us. I'm like, they know, they know their audience. I know people are eating this up, <laughs> eating it up like crazy. I am too. <laughs> I'm just like, I cannot. But yeah, amazing alt though, pretty. Again, they keep snapping with these alts. Like, it, it's so pretty. Jade is a director of the IPC Strategic Investment Department and a member of the Ten Stone Arts. She is as beautiful as she is elegant. She is definitely Jade. I'm. I gotta think about Jade, y'all. I don't know if I'm gonna. Get, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna get her or not. I gotta see because I know um they drip marketed some characters already in the future um for three point four. Not three point. <laughs> we, ain't, we ain't there yet. Me. I mean two point four. So I'm just like I, I gotta see. If, I gotta see. Depending on how I'm looking. I'm gonna see, cause she she does look sick though. She looks really really cool. Oh. And the upcoming Radiant Fells part discussions are an opportunity for her to showcase her true skills. In contrast with Topaz's negotiation abilities and the Venturine's daredevil spirit, I prefer to operate behind the scenes, using emergency measures to reap a full harvest when the opportunity arises. It feels like making a deal with Jade is a risky proposition. <laughs> not so had you if up you and later. Let your guard down even a little bit. Not late. You'll later. You'll never escape her trap, no matter how hard. Late, you like a corner hole. I think the term you're looking not for denied. is femme fatale. <laughs> not uh, like I said, Marcus King <laughs> has been unlocked. Need to tweet this. Very funny. Oh, hey, I'm Scorpio. 
Jade. Yeah, it's two. Uh, he has two other quantum th DPSs. Mm. I like the sound of that. Mm -hmm. And Jade also has a hobby by the name of Bana Jade Exchange, a pawn shop essentially. <laughs> Though it kind of sounds like a fine dining experience. You can have another um quantum, another quantum DPS, Scorpio. There's nothing wrong. You you have you can have multiple teams. So move it up. You can you can add another one to your roster. <laughs> With you on the menu. One swish of the contract and the customer is eight billion credits out of pocket. <laughs> Watch your step, Trailblazers. Jade's goal always aligns with her own interests. She plays the long game, wetting her customer's appetite while extracting a suitable price. She first draws her customers into a vortex of no. desire. <laughs> Encouraging. And bounces the folks are, um, most valuable. Leaving nothing break their wall like him. No, I'm not. Despair. No, I'm not. <laughs> Why is everyone staring at me? Albert? Didn't you just sign an agreement with Jade over the special program budget? Hmm. Wait, what? I... Hold on a second. <laughs> oh. Uh, Ooh. so what exactly happens to people who sign agreements with Jade? Patience, patience. Why don't we let the combat do the talking? As a quantum type character following the path of erudition, my basic attack deals blast damage to a single enemy and adjacent targets. A blast damage dealing basic attack? Exactly that. My skill, on the other hand, allows me to sign an agreement with a single ally, oh, that's so thereby cool. granting them enhancement and speed boost buffs. When the signee attacks the enemy, they can deal additional damage, but at the expense of consuming their own HP. And he Not her consuming their HP, damn. Enhancement of a single ally, thereby granting them enhancement and speed boost buffs. When the signee attacks the enemy, they can deal additional damage, but mm. at the expense of consuming their own HP. Oh, goodness. Enhancement in exchange for HP. <laughs> Is that what people mean by bestowing poison in the guise of sweet dew? <laughs> now, of course, if I choose myself as the signee, the speed boost and HP consumption effects do not apply. Of course they don't. Of course it don't apply to to you. <laughs> of course she. I, I was wondering too. I was like, does if she put it on herself, does she take her take her own HP? But it wouldn't make sense. <laughs> so yeah, it she don't. When I or a signee launch an attack, it accumulates charges for me. When charges are full, a follow up attack is launched. The IPCs sure enjoy a follow up attack. Yeah, I was about to say that. I feel like pretty much all the ones we know of do follow-up attacks. All the IPCs. Topaz, she does a follow-up attack. Adventurine, he does a follow-up attack. Now Jade, she does a follow-up attack. I'm like, well, well. And, um, I don't know, um, what's his name? Dr. Ratio is part of the IPC, I think he is. I don't know. But he does a follow-up attack as well. So I'm like, wow. Well. It seems that the strategic investment department has its own modus operandi. My ultimate, on the other hand, allows me to meet out punishment in accordance with the agreement. In addition to Step dealing damage to all enemies, my follow-up attack is enhanced. If there's a place that's closest to a dream, then are the punished destined for the place that's furthest from it? Like, an abyss? <laughs> you don't think those places might be one and the same? When using my technique during exploration, enemies within a set range enter the blind fealty state and will refrain from attacking me. Oh, okay, that again. <laughs> sick technique, another sick technique. 
wow, this will come in handy. You want them pesky enemies and you just they're trying to get a chest or something and they just come charging at you or you doing, or if you're doing um daily your dailies and just like oh, can you not right now and just pop her um her technique and they won't after attacking an enemy inflicted with blind fealty other enemies in the state will enter the battle with all enemies sustaining damage just a single sheet of paper <laughs> signing away control of your life to others is all too easy Poor Owlbert. He might be doing Jade and the IPC's bidding for a few decades more than anticipated. Oh, no. Wakey, wakey. I don't take kindly to procrastination during working hours. <laughs> How are you feeling, Albert? You won't be retiring anytime soon. <laughs> but then, neither will your program. Silver Linus! <laughs> Why do I still feel like I'm working for nothing? <laughs> Bro, I wouldn't trouble yourself with that question. Why don't we talk about the version 2.3 banner instead? <laughs> Not her transitioning so just smoothly to the banners. Okay, let's see. Ooh, great idea. And version 2.3's first half will prevent. Oh, Ramin is getting her rerun. <gasps> yeah, so the people who don't got Ramin, she's good. She's really good. I wonder, does she go really good with um Firefly? Cause she I know she goes really good with um Boot Hill. Like I use her with my boot hill. Like, yeah, it's crazy. Amazing. Trailblazers can acquire <laughs> the limited five-star character Firefly as well as the limited five-star character Ron May. In addition, the drop rates for the limited five star And they're light cones. <sighs> <laughs> oh, I don't know if I'm gonna have enough to try to get her lights cone. I probably I'm I was like, I'm like uh probably uh, I think I'm gonna have to see her light cone. Her I'm I'm gonna get I'm gonna, I'm gonna see begin bag firefly because I do I want her. I want her. Her light cone. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I got two like I already got uh Robins and Boot Hills light cone back to back and I'm like oh I probably can skip on this one. I probably can skip. <laughs> But it's just, um, Honkai banners just, well, weapon banners just so, just so giving, so lovely. How separate they are. Two different banners for two different characters. <laughs> Cause it's so forgiving. So I'm just like, I, I can probably like, use a, I don't know how to get a, I can use an offset, an off, a good four star one or five star one alternate rather than her Siggy. Starlight cone, where about your dreams rest, as well as a limited light cone pass up and mirror will be boosted. Ah, oh, Miss Firefly. She must yearn for the world beyond the cold confines of her surroundings. Faint lights flickering in the midst of a dark forest. Meanwhile, in 2.3's second half will prevent, trailblazers can acquire. Oh, Sam, look at looky. We get the, um the two erudition characters. Um, Argenti, Argente, Argenti, Argenti. Which he is another good five star. Like, cause it, you can get his alt two times. Cause his alt have two different versions. So I'm like he he's really good, especially if you have him like a hyper. If you use him in a hyper a hy hyper carry team, like just buffing him with um all the harmony character, like buffing him like crazy, he go cr he's cracked with all the um buffs that if uh, if you give it to him, it's just he crazy. I love my Argenti. Acquire the limited five star character Jade and our resident Knight of Beauty Argenti. Will also be joining the lineup, and you already know Jade. I'm still like I'm. I gotta see how we're gonna be looking in the second phase if I'm gonna get Jade or not. But she she looks so good. Like I bet I bet we gotta see we gotta see. In addition, the drop rates for the limited five star light cone. Yet hope is priceless as well as the light cone. An instant before gaze will be. Oh, her light cone is cute. <laughs> he boosted. <laughs> So, even the fiercest of executives has a gentle side. Mm -hmm. Who isn't moved by the laughter of children? 
My heart isn't actually made of stone, you know. And finally, the brand new four star light cone after the Charmony Fall will also be joining the war. Uh oh, we got a new light cone. Will this be good for um Jade? I wonder where Mr. Sunday is right now. Yeah, we all wonder where he is because he just went poof after the big battle. <laughs> Uh, I think we all need a glass of soul layer. But no good anywhere, Trailblazers. After the break, <laughs> we'll be talking 2.3 events. <laughs> it's funny how Albert just sagged way out of the conversation of what, um, Sunday, where he at? He's like, we ain't gonna talk about that right now. <laughs> yeah, because we all want to know where he at. <laughs> where, he, where he's be. Welcome back, dear viewers. Let's duck right into version 2.3's brand new events. First up, a significant update to the simulated universe. Oh, lovely. Yeah, so exciting. Did Mr. Screwlum and Dr. Ratio devise a new project? You guessed it. Oh, oh hey, Wisteria, and thank you for the lurk. And you, um, the human you like Honkai Star Rail? Is a brand yes. New project path. Up until now, the aim of the simulated universe has been to research the stories of the eons. I'm assuming that the human comedy has more of a human focus? Bingo! That's the main research thrust of this phase of the simulated universe. Looks like this project will be conducted on the Radiant Feldspar. Bingo number two, let me tell you a little more about it. First up, a Groundbreaking update to the Divergent Universe, the arithmetic mapping function. In the Divergent Universe, Trailblazers can switch between characters they already possess. Huh. So they can create their own lineups? Precisely. When testing the Divergent Universe, Trailblazers will no longer be limited by character downloads. When character level is lower than the current equilibrium level cap, it will automatically increase to meet the cap. Meaning, if one of my characters is level one, but I use them in the Divergent universe, it increases to a set level? You oh, got it. wow. So handy. But what if a character has. Oh, that's so neat. Okay, Glitch, thank you for the alert. That's a level, but no suitable relics or light cones. <laughs> Where we're not. In that situation, temporary light cones and relics at the current equilibrium level cap will be automatically assigned. Oh. I like when things are automatic. Yeah. Ain't it great? <laughs> now we mustn't overlook Dr. Ratio's new brainwave. Equation. A buff combination of two different paths. Before the start of every test, trailblazers have the opportunity to select a random equation. And for the equation to take effect, you'll need different amounts of path blessings. Once the required amount has been achieved, the equation will activate, and the team can obtain the corresponding combat abilities. Equation has a max of three stars. I see. So the higher an equation's star level, the more blessings are needed to activate it? You nailed it. And to speed things up, the geniuses have kindly marked the required path blessings for each equation in Trailblazer's possession. Knowing which blessings can activate an equation is easy as pie. Good. That's so considerate. If you're ever struggling to choose, just follow the mark. Adapting your choices to suit your equation allows you to cater the effects to your current team. Mm, it works both ways. You could adjust your team's composition to better suit your current equation. I want to see Trailblazers mixing and matching. So, if I accidentally chose an unsuitable blessing, or if I want to switch my current equation, 
Can I make a change? Of course! By visiting the workbench of creation, Trailblazers can overwrite their existing equation and switch it out for another. Oh, wow. Unwanted blessings can also be switched out for other blessings or even enhanced. Huh? Has the Curio Store added more purchasable items? Oh, am I hallucinating? Did Madame Herta really lower the prices? The Curio system <laughs> has been upgraded. In addition to normal curios, trailblazers can also choose from weighted curios. These curios are more suited to characters of specific paths or types and really elevate the combat experience. Keep your eyes peeled, trailblazers. Separately, we should also take a look at the wealth and escapade domains of the Divergent Universe. Trailblazers can win different prizes in these domains by spending cosmic fragments. But beware, in the event of a program error, your cosmic fragments could be wasted or even land you with negative curios. Sometimes the same starting point can lead to very different outcomes. Luck is an important component. It sure is. Now, allow me to introduce an impressive optimization that left a big impression on your buddy Albert. When suffering defeat in the simulated universe, Trailblazers no longer need to force stop the game. Divergent Universe Combat now allows for restart challenge, and Trailblazers can select a new lineup. Oh, that's amazing. I've always wanted that function. Yes. After completing each test in the Divergent Universe, Trailblazers can acquire synchronicity points and inspiration, allowing them to activate the buff nodes and inspiration circuits. Testing the simulated universe just got a little bit easier. Thanks for all the info, Albert. It's a lot. It's just, <laughs> didn't you forget something important? What about the planar ornaments? <laughs> I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> the planar ornament extraction function has arrived. Every time Trailblazers clear the Divergent Universe, they can choose to save a record of that challenge and archive the data of the equation, blessings, and curios in question. Choose the planar ornaments you want, use the archive, inherit the data and buffs from the archive, challenge the boss enemy, and obtain immersion rewards. Huh? You mean you can skip ahead? You just need to defeat the boss to get quick access to the planar ornaments? Oh, that is an amazing. That's amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh! Are we sure this isn't some cracked version of the simulated universe that silver wolf put out there literally Shh, keep her down <laughs> the last person to doubt the genie society lost 76 accounts a brand new simulated universe yes okay so that's basically what this is okay i was like when i'm like wait another month i'm like oh it's just a basically simulated universe oh <laughs> Sounds worth a try. Yeah. Hey, man, to that. <laughs> now, in version 2.3. Oh, and we get a new ornament. Plant, um, plant, uh, ornaments. The Divergent Universe will be adding two new planner ornaments. Durant. Planner, planner ornament set. Okay, planner ornament. Like, Dynasty of Running Wolves and Forge of the Calpagni Lantern. Make sure to use the new planar ornament extraction function to get a hold of them. Yes, because will Firefly need one of these? Probably. After experiencing ordinary extrapolation, the Divergent Universe will have a weekly cyclical extrapolation objective. By completing this weekly challenge, Trailblazers <laughs> can obtain a first time completion reward as well as additional synchronicity points. Not to mention, in order to celebrate the arrival of the Divergent Universe, Madam Herder has added the five-star Erudition Light Cone Eternal Calculus to the store. Oh, Erudition. Oh, that's a new light cone. Five-star light cone. Trailblazers who wish to redeem it better start reserving some Herder bonds. It sounds like the level of freedom in the Divergent Universe is really high. Yeah, very much the um, simulated one. Very. We can skip ahead to the, the boss itself and not have to go through in this level to get to the boss. I'm like, that's amazing. Faster access to planar ornaments, mm -hmm. bold choice of characters. Those are some big gameplay improvements. We love that from Hong Kong. We love that. We love that. Always treating us. 
Big improvements indeed. In the vastness of the universe, the eons are beyond our reach. Humanity must learn to rise from its falls and strike its own path. When gazing up at the stars, it's important to keep your feet planted firmly on the ground. The stories in Divergent Universe, the human comedy, may seem small, but that does not make them insignificant. Trailblazers, <laughs> get exploring. I can't wait to experience those stories! It's a chance for us to find out more about ourselves. I look forward to the memories. <laughs> Any room for a non-human companion? <laughs> <laughs> Aside from all of this, in Penacone's Dreamscape sales store, a deal has been struck with a member of the mysterious Creed Exequi. They wish to seek traces of the shapeless prince and the experiences of your deadly struggles. Oh, a permanent game mode, another one. Unlock the brand new permanent challenge mode, Apocalyptic Shadow, in Dream Flux Reef, and experience those past dreamscapes. Creed Exequy. Is this the first appearance of this faction of the finality? Not necessarily. A new permanent challenge mode? So, what's different? Yes. In Apocalyptic Shadow, Trailblazers will challenge boss enemies that they have encountered in their journey. Every phase has two enemies, which are split into four levels of challenge difficulty. The enemies in Apocalyptic Shadow are a little different to regular boss enemies. In preparation for the fight, Trailblazers can read the enemy's traits at the start of the battle. As with other permanent game modes, during the challenge, there are buff effects for Trailblazers to choose from for every boss. Make sure you maximize the advantages of your lineup. Defeating enemies through team adjustments or by exploring different battle strategies makes for a richer combat experience. Trailblazers can record a maximum of three floors of three-star quick clearances. That's right! And after the first time clearance of Apocalyptic Shadow's set difficulty, Trailblazers can obtain the four-star character Shui Yi. Shui Yi? I think I have her C6. I gotta see. As well as 300 stars. By C, I mean E6. And self modeling resin. <laughs> nice! We're just getting warmed up. Let's take a look at the permanent game mode rotating schedule. The first phase of the Apocalyptic Shadow Challenge will launch on the day of the version 2.3 update and last for six weeks. Every version will rotationally update according to the following sequence. Apocalyptic Shadow, Pure Fiction, Forgotten Hall. Just as before. On every other Monday, the permanent challenge stage is replaced. Related system functions have also been optimized. When entering the three permanent game mode screens from the Interastral Peace Handbook, aside from being able to see the challenge lineups of their friends, Trailblazers can also easily check the star level progress of their current challenge. On the permanent game mode preparation screen, Trailblazers can use preset lineups to create their team, and even customize with drag and drop. How thoughtful. Ooh, okay, okay, I like that feature, the drag and drop. Cause sometimes you want to like put some characters in a specific, a specific spot and you want to like have to like get rid of the whole team and then put them back the way you wanted them yeah just the dragon the, a good good um life of change i forgot what they call it life something life quality of life there we go quality of life change they added it there that's really good just drag and drop them like thank goodness thank you Now let's talk rewards, shall we? By clearing a phase of Apocalyptic Shadow, Trailblazers can earn a maximum of 720 Stellar Jades. Oh, uh, yes. 720? <laughs> you might want to take another look at our agreement, Albert. Huh? <laughs> the maximum number of Stellar Jades awarded in each phase of the Forgotten... Now I'm reading this. So funny. No. Pure fiction and apocalyptic shadow permanent challenges is increasing from 720 to 800. Thank you, Jade. She, Jade is looking after us, giving us our stellar Jades. <laughs> Jade looking after us and giving our Jades. You love that. A queen. Boss. Lady. Queen. 
Then the budgetary increase will be funded through Albert's salary? Not Albert's salary. You. Now you chopping <laughs> Albert's salary. It's like I said, making a deal with Jade is a risky proposition. I'm sorry, Albert. She chopped me salary and giving us more Jade. <laughs> <laughs> Well then, following this change, Trailblazers can now obtain a total of 2,400 Stellar Jades through the permanent challenges in each version. Oh damn, that's like a little, okay, okay. Then why do I hear quiet weeping? <laughs> I don't think Owlbird's seen the bright side. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's coming from his salary, so I'm just like, yeah. We'll be weeping too. <laughs> Keep it together, Albert. Now. Mm. In the upcoming version, the origami birds also venture into the Radiant Felt Spa. Bring with them a little game. Here's hoping Trailblazers can help to test it out. An arcade game? Huh, let me give Silverwolf a call. These origami birds are very endearing. But why do I have a sense of deja vu? <laughs> this arcade game, <clears throat> trailblazers need to cause elimination within a specified number of steps in order to increase the bird's combat power. Before the end of every turn, oh, this corresponding really, um, damage cute. is calculated according to the difference in combat values. When your opponent's HP returns to zero, like my bank account, victory is Not like saved. my bank account. <laughs> this gameplay, could it really be the legendary? I never thought the day would come when I could play oh, hey, Derek. Match 3 on a Pentaconian airship. On the tube. <laughs> In the Origami Bird class event, Trailblazers can also do battle freely with friends from across the universe. Can I fight Silverwolf? Of course. Be they old buddies or gaming acquaintances, all can connect and play. Oh. Get mm -hmm. Great. The next event is called Stellar Shimmer. Does that name wait? Go ahead and some of the bit. Sealed. This gameplay could it really be the legendary? I never thought the day would come when I could play match three on a Pentaconian airship. <laughs> oh, that's something you can play with people on that. That is so amazing. They show me a cross server event. Oh, yeah, that would be neat as well, Scorpio, like a cross server event. <laughs> In the Origami Bird class event, Trailblazers can also do battle freely with friends from across the universe. Can I fight Silverwolf? Of course. Be they old buddies or gaming acquaintances, all can connect and play. Get tested. Mm -hmm. Great. The next event is called Stellar Shimmer. Does that name ring any bells for anyone? Stellar. Stellar oh, hey, Kaylin. Is this the sequel? <laughs> You're a sharp one, Miss Zacharon. Stellar Shimmer brings with it lots of brand new challenge mechanisms and trial character lineups. Catering your team to suit the mechanisms is the key to victory. These mechanisms. Care to divulge a little more? Well, for example, in certain stages, breaking an enemy's weakness can grant you an extra action. In other stages, characters enjoy unlimited revivals and can regenerate 50% of their energy. Does that mean Trailblazers can try doing away with survivability units and focus purely on damage output lineups? Mm-hmm. Defeat as many waves of enemies as possible in a set number of cycles to complete the challenge and obtain rewards. Whew. So many That's events. For events. Time to take another breather. Well, so much no in the event, I mean. More fascinating updates on version 2.3 are right around the corner. But that event that you can play with um your friends, that one was so neat. I was like, oh wow, I didn't expect that. It looked very cute with um the bird, the origami birds that we be getting around Pelicone. We need to put them to work now. In this event.
And also, too, poor Albert and his, um, his salary getting cut, his, um, feed are, um, having more seller jades. I'm like, I'm sorry, Albert, but at the same time, thank you for your service. We need all our primos. I mean, our primos, I mean seller jades. We need our seller jades. Return of a nail-biting and thrilling tradition. Gift of Odyssey. Not them all saying it at the same time. Uh... They, they just keep feeding, y'all, they just keep feeding us just amazingness of the gift of Odyssey. Every virgin, just the gift of Odyssey. Like, <laughs> they know we need this. They, they, like, they, just, they, they keep just feeding us like, with the gift of Odyssey. We love it. We stand it to the highest degree. However, keep this going however long you need. Keep it, keep, keep it coming. Keep, keep this event, keep this coming. Thank you. Love it so much. Check in for 10 free warps. The usual. There's also version 2.3's double events. Our good friends, Planar Fisher and Realm of the Strange. Double planar ornaments and materials? What's not to love? Also in this version are the newly added cavern relics. Iron Cavalry against the Scourge and the Wind Soaring Valorous. Oh, here it is. Okay, okay. So here's the the relics. We got we see the up uh, ornaments. The relics though. This one um break and super break damage characters. But this is like, this is a, um firefly firefly set for sure. And this also too could work with um Boo Hill, which I will be getting that getting this for him as well. And then follow up uh follow up attack damage and ultimate DPS characters. Oh god. What's his name? What's his name? Doctor Ratio. And, and also to any other um follow-up attack characters could use this as well, which is neat. <laughs> Y'all I ooh. <laughs> yeah, I really wanted to try to get Topaz in Numbi, but oh. <laughs> But I needed to get my cowboy husband. Ooh. Hopefully, when she reruns again, her second rerun, I'm like, hopefully she's not running with no new person. <laughs> hopefully. But uh, I want to get her. But yeah. But cool sets. And um, be coming. And now we can um exchange it for any other characters that we already previously have. And they, they can um use the use the set to, the, um, to their advantage. So yeah. Neat. Trailblazers can head for the Cavern of Corrosion, Path of Cavalier Challenge, to obtain them. Mm-hmm! And let's not forget the new Path of Erudition Trace materials that'll be added to the brand new Calyxes, Rough Sketch, Dynamic Outlining, and Exquisite <laughs> yeah, my puppy is getting a new for set. I know that's right, who wish to level up traces for me, these materials are indispensable. Oh, wait, she needs some materials? Wait, back that up. So for me. Exquisite! The brand... And let's not forget the new Path of Erudition Trace materials that'll be added to the brand new Calyxes, Rough Sketch, Dynamic Outlining, and Exquisite Colored Draft. Oh, she needs, oh yeah, these are um, Jade's materials. <laughs> for trailblazers who wish to level up traces for me, these materials are indispensable. Ooh, so many updates! Man, I can't wait for this version to drop. <sighs> and we're at the end of the version 2.3 special program. It was a lot, to be paid farewell to this white night. Thanks again for everyone's support and viewership. I eagerly await the version 2.3 story. Here's Me hoping either. the Panacone discussions make for smooth sailing. Please, Trailblazers, do support the work of the IPC. I'm looking forward to the brand new Divergent Universe, not to mention all those brilliant events. Don't forget to try them out. I will, uh, uh, Akron. In that case, see you in the next stream, Trailblazers. I'll be waiting for you at the usual spot. Yeah, we gonna, I'll be trying to get you to come home, Firefly. Can I wait to come pull you? Bye. Bye, <laughs> y'all. Oh, but well, there's still more. Yeah, we still got more. What the heck is written in this thing anyway? <laughs> That's it.
That's it! I made it! What am I? I got Joke to them! Oh? <laughs> Read our virgin names. They're too afraid to read out for themselves. Uh, and not to mention the bullying. All these years, working my tail for this off for the RPC, and even the audience thinks I'm an intern. <laughs> uh oh, Al um, Albert's having a, um a break. Um, we're losing them, y'all. We're losing them a little bit. Bro, you good, love. You good, sir. You need... uh, and now, using my salary to fund the stellar change budget for the new events. I highly appreciate you for doing that, Albert. Like, I thank you. Again, I need my stellar change so badly. Like, you, you don't understand. Thank you. Thank you. The audacity! Sound like he said the F bomb right there. Ooh. <laughs> Get him out. Get him bleeped. <laughs> now he's joining the math pool next update. <laughs> Cursing up a storm. You two. Get out of here. <laughs> Tell that to Sunday. Now listen up. The three years are up. I quit. If you didn't know already, I got an offer from the CN Joe to host the war dance. Albert's about to become a big time sports anchor. Ha 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 You can get that on your knees and beg for all I care. It won't make any difference. What? You. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the most important event in the Zienjo calendar the War Dance. War Dance. The opening session is right around the corner. Uh, we're going back to the, the, Xing, the Xing Zhou, y'all. Here. You will witness members from all Sienjo delegations fight for supremacy in the Luminary Combat Arts Ceremony. First up, put your hands together for the Sienjo Yao Ching delegation. Fierce and swift is Fei Xiao, the Merlin's Claw. Hold and by his side, <laughs> he doesn't drink plain soup and has no time for coriander. It's the celebrated medicinal chef, Chow Cho. Chow Cho. What the heck did I just read? Up next, <laughs> he's cold and silent as a hunting shadow. The crow feathered weirdo, Moza. Moza. And, and following close behind him is the Xianzhou Juming delegation. Strong and righteous is Huayan, the flaming heart. And now, gotta learn these names. Strikes while the iron is hot and forges while the flames are bright. It's one of the flame will octet, Yunli. Yunli. <sighs> these are some wordy intros. Yeah. So, two of these characters, we, if you see, if you follow um, Hong Kai on Twitter, you know two of them are <laughs> since they got drip marketed. What was her name again, Joe? Yun Li. Yun Li. And I forgot the um other the chef's name. I think he's a chef. The he, him and her got drip marked it. These other these other um characters we haven't seen yet. So I'm like, ooh, okay. <sighs> these are some wordy intros. And finally, the official host delegation has arrived. Let's hear it for the Xian Joe Lao Fu. No. Please welcome, having suddenly returned home for the victory lap, is the new Alchemy Commission Cauldron Master, Ling Sha! Ling as Sha. well as an pretty. exceptionally gifted and legendary new Swordmaster, who shall remain anonymous for the time being. Who no that?
the sword master as well as an exceptionally gifted and legendary new sword master i wonder who that is who shall remain anonymous for the time being no wonder they needed me for this gig oh and that was it <laughs> not them teasing the sing show and all the um, new characters are gonna be coming funny it, it, it seemed like they teased it like um they do like when we go into a, like a next version well not next a next like a new place like peliconi like that. they're teasing it like that but they're teasing it with, with characters since we're going back to the sing show because obviously we can't go to a new place yet we gotta we ain't gonna go to a new place until the 3.0 <laughs> so we got time to kill in these next versions so yeah three Love to ate it up, truly. Excited for it to come. Which I think if I'm counting um calculating correctly, if I'm doing my um math right, pretend I got my glasses on, moving them like that. It should come out on the eighteenth. Well, nineteenth, but you know <laughs> around eleven, twelve my time, Eastern Standard. It always drops around that time on Tuesday at night. Into the t uh, into Wednesday, so yeah, so yeah, 18, 18 19. It gonna be dropping, so so you should um be back for me pulling on the um that day pulling for the Firefly. <laughs> Enjoyed the uh the special program, can't wait. Firefly, especially those new characters that they tease at the end. For um for the um, seeing show, I'm like really interested. I'm like, oh, ooh. but I said we already know the two characters already, but the other ones we don't know yet. And excited to see, but I think that's gonna be probably in version 2.4 probably. So we ain't gonna be seeing that yet. Anytime soon. soon. But yeah, but yeah, y'all, that was it for my reaction. As the um as I said earlier in the um video. I will put up the um sh in the, um thing up there. The stream, I could, I think, I think I can put my stream in the um thing that pops up up there for y'all who watch this video. I put my um me playing up the last installment of Pelicone Act because I say it was like eight hours, nine hours, something like that. Which, as I said already, I did not know it was going to be that long of wrapping everything up, but it was. <laughs> uh, but yeah, if you want to see it, it'll be um, up there when I... up. So y'all can um, check it out if y'all want to. Sit eight hours of it. <laughs> if you do, I'll be sure I'm like, why? <laughs> but yeah. So uh, until the next reaction to... um. A special program by y'all.